Hey, good morning. <laughs> Elizabeth has the kids up doing, uh, they're up here loading mulch on the trailer for the garden. Uh, Y'all can't see it from here. The garden is is uh, right back, back there is the garden. But they're up anyway, they're up there loading the truck up with mulch. The uh, last time they was there, the, the, uh, Found a copperhead in it, in the mulch pile. They're surrounded. It's got a lot of grass grew up around it, and, and I've got to get a, a weed eater to go in and clean that up, get rid of the copperheads. <laughs> the kids are learning what snakes are out here. They found ring neck snakes, and copperhead, and black snakes. So I sound like they're coming. They're about to get it loaded up. So we'll see how it comes out. It's, I put it out there on the garden, put cardboard down uh, between the rows and uh, cover it with mulch, and you don't have any weeds in there. And, uh, and then. Dad, is Elias over there? No. Elias? Okay, I'm starting to freak out. All right. He's down by the garden. <laughs> it's starting to freak out. Them babies disappear. You don't know where they're at. All right. <clears throat> so he must be down by the garden. I see they're chasing them. Y'all can't see it down there. <laughs> Activity on the home front, right? That's our morning. That's the way it goes. All right. This is uh, Philippians 1.22 and the references to it. And I'll use... Now we'll get into 123 also because there's a one, two, th there's a one, two, three, four, five on that one and five on that one. So Philippians 122 has five and Philippians 123 has five. So we'll put them together. All right. And uh, that'll get me, that'll get me started into another one a little later. So here comes August. She comes up to see me. Say hi. <laughs> all right now if it is to be living in flesh this to me this to me means fruit from works and what i shall be preferring i am not making known philippians 122 let me try that again now if it is to be living in flesh this to me means fruit from works and what i shall not and what i shall be preferring i am not making known now we shall not be boasting immeasurably but according to the measure of our range which measure god parts to us to reach on as far as you also with christ have i been crucified yet i am living no longer i but living in me is christ now that which I am now living in flesh, I am living in faith that is of the Son of God, who loves me and gives himself up for me. Yet to be staying in the flesh is more necessary because of you. For I want you to preserve, to perceive what the struggle amounts to, which I am having for your sakes and for those in Laodice, Laodicea, Laodicea, <laughs> And whoever have not seen my face in flesh. God does not thrust away his people whom he foreknew. Or have you not perceived in Elijah that the scripture is saying as he is pleading with God against Israel? Alright, that's Philippians 122. Let's go to 123. References to this one. Yet I am being pressed out of the two, having a yearning for the solution and to be together with Christ. For it, rather, is much better. You know, we all today are, are way looking forward to that. You know, same as Paul was. He was looking forward to being there in the body of Christ. He was the first member of the body of Christ. And, uh, you know, we all know that to be with Christ would be much better than where we're at. And we yearn for that. The same as what Paul was doing here in this in these scriptures. You know, to be to be with God would be, uh, would be much better than what we got now. But... We've got to be here to go through what we're doing and to, to go through the struggles in order to share in our own in our uh, 
are struggling with others that are going through the same thing. You know how God gives us the grace to get through it, and, and it's it's all there. So Philippians one twenty three, we'll go do it again. Yet I am being pressed out of the two, having a yearning for the solution, and to be together with Christ, for it rather is much better. Not distressed are you in us, yet you are distressed in your compassions. For you yourselves are aware, brethren, that our interest to you has not come to be for naught. And therefore, we also are thanking God unintermittently that in accepting the word heard from us, from God you receive not the word of men, but according as it is, truly is the word of God, which is operating also in you who are believing. Yet we are encouraged and are delighting rather to be away from home out of the body and to be at home with the Lord. For I am already a libation and the period of my dissolution is intimate. And that's references to Philippians 1, 23. Uh, that scripture wasn't read uh, at the funeral in 2 Corinthians 5, 8. They left that one out, which I'm glad they did because uh, it says here, we are encouraged and are delighting rather to be away from home out of the body and to be at home with the Lord. We all are like that. You know, it doesn't say to be absent from the body is to be with the Lord. It doesn't say that. And that's what the most of them will use in, in a funeral. We'll use to be it, be it. The absence of the body is to be with the Lord. That's not what it's saying. Uh, it says, rather to be away from home out of the body and to be at home with the Lord. We would rather be that, but we're not. We're here on earth until the snatching away happens, until the resurrection, until, you know, that all comes together. The, until then, people are dead and they stay dead. The spirit goes to God who gave it. And we, we know nothing. The dead don't know. They can't see. The spirit don't look down, and it, the spirit don't have eyes to look down here and and console us. That's it. No, that's not. It's not it. But anyway, um, I put these references down in the bottom dropout or drop down window, and uh, we'll get this day going. It's going to be a lot of activity here today. So the kids are active, and uh, <laughs> I am too. <laughs> Coffee is done. quiet out here i do hear birds and uh, the the water over here is, has dwindled down quite a bit the rain has stopped for a while so it's gonna be a great day hey i'll talk to y'all i'll talk to y'all tomorrow see you then